Hey everyone, my name is Jen Neitzel and I am one of your co-hosts today for Tuesday, Notary Titans. Laura's going to be joining us in just a few moments. She is teaching today, so it's difficult for her to uh, get to the call right when we start at noon Pacific, which leads me to my very first announcement. You're going to hear this a couple of times today on the call because it is a little bit of a change in the Tuesday Notary Titans format. We are going to be starting moving forward at 1215 Pacific, 215 Central, 315 Eastern. And it's really just to allow Laura uh, to be able to get from her teaching class, as you may or may not know, she is an instructor with the National Notary Association in California. And this allows her just a few minutes to leave the classroom, dismiss everybody for lunch, and then immediately join us for the call. And that way she's not missing anything. And there she is. Hi, Laura. Hello. Having I technical was... difficulties, my computer decided it was still New Year's. It didn't want to work. <laughs> oh, well, I was just announcing that um, our big announcement is that we are moving the time of this call starting next week to 1215. We're just pushing it back. Still going to be an hour call. We're going to wrap up at, at 115 Pacific. Uh, we just wanted to give Laura a chance to not constantly be rushed. And I thought you were teaching today, Laura, but I see you're at home. No, uh, I know. it was computer today. Yeah. So happy new year, everyone. Happy 2024. Laura, I had everybody um, drop a one in the chat for me already. If they were feeling as overwhelmed as I am feeling today. Back to work. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Uh, a little bit. I, I had to actually commit on a piece of paper of what I was going to get done today because there were so many things sure. I needed to do yeah. that I thought I can't get them all today, but what has to happen today? Same. Yeah. What's number one? That's right. What is the number one thing? I did number one, number two, and number three things for today. So uh, you guys are not alone. It's just that time of year, but you know what? It's usually us putting pressure on ourselves. And that's what I keep reminding myself today, right, Laura? Like that's me putting that pressure on myself, take a deep breath and it will all get done. So let's open up this call for your questions. I know it's been a couple of weeks. It's been what, two weeks, Laura? It has been. And so recall um, the format is like this. You need to raise your virtual hand so that we know it pops you up to the top of a front left screen for us so we see who you are so we don't miss you number one number two make sure that uh you tell us your uh, state particularly most of you have your name on here uh, but you're some of you have your state some don't and sometimes you ask state specific questions and so it makes a difference in how we're able to answer you and then the third thing is just get right into your question uh we don't need a lot of backstory and if we do need more backstory, we're certainly going to ask for it. All right. And that allows everybody to have a chance to ask their question. If you don't have a question, you just have a specific experience you want to share and get feedback on, that's great too. All right. So I think we know what we're doing and um, we're going to go for what, about 10 minutes, Jen, and then we'll have some announcements. That's exactly right. So the first person with their hand up is Joanne from Washington. Hello, my friend. Happy New Year. Hi, Happy New Year, everybody. Question, uh, um, do you use your notary stamp on the day it expires? <laughs> so the answer for almost everybody should be yes, and that your new stamp should start with the next date. So if you have your new stamp, like mine is ending January 13th, and so I can use my current stamps up till midnight of January 13th. And then my next commission starts January 14. And then that's when I can start using that one. And I can't start using the new one until I've you know run out uh, the old one. Now, there are a couple of states that don't require stamps. So I'm not quite sure about you. Uh, and oh. But I would assume that you cannot start using your new stamp that has a new expiration date prior to the end of the old expiration date. So that okay. Would I That's yeah. So then it's Joanne. Yeah. So it's end of day. So mine expired yesterday. Then it's done. <laughs> it's done. 
Right. But I had a signing yesterday and it was a will. Yeah. So I did use my new one just because I was concerned because it was a will. Mm. So it does say commission expires January 1st, 2024, my old one. And my new one says January commission expires January 1st, 2028. So it was like right yesterday. <laughs> so I don't know if that would create any issue for your signer. Um, only if some issues come up with the will itself. And then they start looking for technicalities that they can challenge uh, on. So that's where that might come up. But the likelihood is not Thank high. You. So was this an affidavit, a self-proving affidavit that went with the will? Yes. Okay. Okay. dokie. Okay. That was a good question. I did. Uh, I, I, I a lot of people are were wondering that, you know, and didn't realize it. So, who else has a question for the goat, Laura Bewer, or myself? Anything about marketing? You know, it's January. A lot of people are doubling back in, doubling down on their business, diving back in head first after a few weeks off with family and relaxing. And hopefully, you guys are identifying some networking opportunities in your area. So if you have any questions about how to do that, how to get out and network, I'm here. Let's talk about it. Lou Jameson, how are you today? I was on mute. I'm, I'm doing well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What can we help you with? Well, uh, I've just uh, received my notary signing uh, certification last year around uh, September. And I've registered with all the scheduling sites, but I don't seem to be getting any job. You know, somebody else always, you know, even though I'm first to respond, somebody else gets the job. What can I do about that? Well, I love that question. And I know Laura has an answer to that. Um, but I, I just want to ask a few clarifying questions, Lou. Um, so you are signed up with signing services that you found online, correct? Like um, uh, uh, with snap docs and you know, coast to coast signings, all of those places. Also are you, with, with your new site for uh, uh, awesome with Goatery, that's great. Have you um, have you done any in person marketing? Uh, I've done one. I went to see a uh, what is it? A title company. In great, the local just one. Area and left my business card, but nothing. Okay. And you've done that once? Yes. Okay. And then where are you located, Lou? I'm in Los Altos, California. Okay. What part of the state is that? It's Northern California, Bay Area. Bay Area. Okay. Fantastic. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I had a full picture of the situation, Lou. Um, so I'm going to tell you the secret to business. There's That's two great. ways, I'm waiting. two waiting. ways for you to be successful in business when it comes to marketing. And that's your online presence, like Google business profile um, and your different directories that you are already a part of, as well as your relationships. And I would argue mostly because I have a whole website built around building relationships <laughs> that the relationships part is, uh, is more important even than your online presence. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. And I know you realize that, but um, to be successful as a loan signing agent, and, and let me just clarify very quickly, are you also um, doing, are you okay with doing general notary work and perhaps doing the trust signing? Are you a CNTDA as well, Lou? Yeah. Okay. So it, it, do you have a Google business profile? No, I don't. Okay. I I so should. I would start there, get that Google business profile up and running. It's free. It's free. And um, it, once you get that going um, and, you, and you are interacting with it on a weekly basis, you almost have to treat it like social media is what I tell people. You can't just create it and let it sit. You need to interact with it. You need to ask for reviews. You need to re-ask for reviews sometimes. You need to post 
geotags and 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 uh, post pictures that show engagement in your community. But then you also need to get out and go to networking events, and you need to go visit title companies. And I say plural companies. Um, walking in one time and leaving a business card and after a few minute conversation is not going to get you business. The no like and trust factor takes time and repeat effort on your part. So when it comes to marketing, you want to, in person, direct marketing. Of course, you want to do what I call a pop-in and go, like you already did, go in and meet them. But then you need to follow up. Did you follow up with an email after you went in and talked to them? I didn't get a return business card, so I didn't know who to contact. Never walk in. This what. goes to everybody on the call. Anytime you do any direct marketing, make sure you always walk out of that title office, that attorney office, that shipping center, that medical facility with business cards so you can follow up the job. It's your job to let them know that you're there, let them know that you want to work with them. It's not necessarily their job to, you know, to seek you out, right? Laura, do you have anything you want to add? Well, no, that's really the part that I was going to do. Two things. One is um, just to remind everybody, SnapDocs is not a signing company. It's mm -hmm. one of these hybrid platforms and they work with signing services and title companies. Um, so they're not the same. And I just want to make sure everybody understands that. The second thing is um, when you go in um, to do in-person marketing, leaving without something to take back with you so that you can further the conversation um, typically means the conversation is over. So you need something that gives you contact information so that you can follow up uh, to you know, remind them, oh, I was here, or did you enjoy whatever it was you brought them, um, so that you can start a conversation going, uh, because it's probably not going to start and end or start and, and begin the business relationship on that one time. And the other thing, it's a numbers game. One, you know, one out of, you know, 15 or 20, right? So if you did one, it's not enough. You need to identify all the title companies that are in a drivable distance for you that you can at some point in time go in because it's going to take that many to start developing um, a work relationship where they're going to send you uh, assignments. Yeah, absolutely. I also ran into where one of the scheduling companies has white glove notaries and they're the ones who get the preferred jobs. Yes. So well, that that's... That's an answer to the other question that you started out with, which is how come I'm applying for it and I may be sooner than somebody else, but somebody else is getting it. There are what are called preferred notaries and they're going to be nabbing those jobs first because they're going to offer to them first. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a preferred notary for signing services, not ones that use snap docs or those. <clears throat> they're the smaller ones that they personally call me or they, and when I don't pick up, cause I'm in the middle of something, they text me personally. It is not a cattle call text. It is not a cattle call voicemail. So those few relationships that I've maintained over 20 years are direct. I mean, that's really direct. Um, when you are, your name is on a database uh, then you're one of many that are on the database and they may have added personal relationship in front of you. So that could be why you're not getting it yet. Doesn't mean you won't get it at some point. Obviously they can't be available 24 seven all the time, right? So there's going to be a time that you can slip in. So the other thing to do, which Jen said, which is in person marketing for the loan signing business particularly, and then look at stepping up your game over on the Google profile and in the trust work. Because you know what? I don't care if you hear that the interest rate's going to be going down. It's going to take another year for us to see enough down to make it worth people to refinance. So it's not a great time. If you already have relationships and you're already out there doing the business, you're probably still getting work. But if you're newer at doing it, it's going to be harder for you. I'd be lying if I said it's a snap. You got your certificate, go. It's not going to be 
uh, easy for those who have not been in it and have not developed more personal relationships because there's still a lot of us out there doing the business, but there isn't as much business to support the number of notaries. I, I understand that and I know I have to get out there and meet yeah. and greet. That's right, Lou. Now's a great time yeah. to get out and do some networking, right? That's It's after the holidays. Businesses are kind of recommitting to their networking events and, and hosting them. So now is a great time to get online and find some networking events in your area. And I would also tell you too, Lou, if you are not already a notary business builder and you're looking for some guidance on marketing, I have a website called Marketing for Notaries. It's now in the chat. And I show you the exact five point plan that I used to develop my personal relationships with title companies, escrow companies all across Dallas, Fort Worth, which is where I live. Um, and it's the exact way that I did it. So it's included in Notary Business Builder. If you're not a notary business builder um, and, and you're looking for some guidance on marketing, I encourage you to go check it out. It's only 20 bucks a month and I'm keeping it that way because I know we all need a little help and we don't all have a lot of money to be spending right now. So well, um, I haven't people... really made any money yet. And I've been spending money. Well, you know, well, that's investment. Investment. You're a business owner. You're, you're investing in your business is what you're doing. And even if you opened a bakery, Lou, instead of being a notary, First of all, you'd have way more overhead, right? We have very little overhead with our business, but you would have to go through these same steps and get out there. You can't just hang a sign and expect people to come to you. You know, we have to shift that mindset of it's our job to get out there and tell the community who we are and develop relationships with people in our community. And that takes time. And I can tell you from counseling hundreds of notaries, and my own experience, it is a full 12 to 18 month process once you start working the five point marketing system um, to and with your follow ups, with your monthly shout outs, going to networking events, incorporating social media. It takes a full 12 to 18 months to really get in that groove. And I bet there's a lot of notaries on the call that would agree with me on that because you guys have done it yourselves. Okay, great. That's great advice. Appreciate it. You're so welcome. I love that question. And I think a lot of people um, are kind of curious about that right now, too. We keep hearing, Laura, I mean, I know you do, too. I keep hearing, like, oh, interest rates are going to go down. Interest rates are going to go down. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. But it's exactly what Laura said. It's not going to be an overnight thing. Look for other ways in your notary business to find events or to find uh, revenue streams to help supplement those um, loan signings. And don't think that it's gonna come rushing back like it did in 21. Don't let anybody tell you different because it's not gonna be like that kind of boom. Would you agree, Laura? Yeah, it's, it's gonna come back slowly yeah. and steady and to a regular level, right. not COVID level. Either. Not boom, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be normal business, business as usual. So great question, Lou. Thank you so much. And thank you for waiting, Gloria. Tell us where you're calling from. Hi, I'm Gloria from Southern California. Hi. And, uh, hi. Um, I'm, uh, I've am i been working the uh, some of the trusts and general notary work, but uh, lately I've been updating my credentials for signing companies because I get a level of signings from... Uh, various ones. And I have a question on a specific. Uh, I went into 123 Notary to update my credentials and I can't get through to anybody or anything on that thing. It shows me inactive, although I've been paid for a year. I don't know if anybody knows anything about it. I know that Notary Stars advocates their credentials or their training. I, I don't really understand. Uh, if I could get a little clarity around that, I'd appreciate it. This is a Laura question, not a me question, because I, I don't know anything about that. Laura, do you have any information to help Gloria? Yeah. So Jeremy Belmont, as many know, is the owner of that. Um, he uh, It was very powerful and my favorite, my number one go-to directory um, until after his assistant, Carmen, passed away. And he's, he started taking things back on himself. Uh, and uh, there's been 
some kind of issues. We weren't sure whether or not his database was corrupted. Um, uh, so right now, if you are not able to get in, uh, what I would say is I would not be using it for right now because it'll take your money, but I don't know if you can get that fixed. So mm -hmm. if you can find somebody to talk to, even for me, and I've spoken to Jeremy, although now it's been over a year, mm -hmm. um, I haven't heard or seen him. So you might want to look at other databases that are tried and true uh, like Notary Rotary and Notary Cafe. Um, and of course, signingagent.com is the NNA, which is free when you have their certification or their membership. Uh, and then for general, findanotary.com is also the NNA. Um, so look at all the other ones that are uh, available to you. And you may have to step out of 123 Notary until we figure out what has happened to that. It may not be a safe website now. Yeah. No, I appreciate that because uh, I did try to uh, email Jeremy Belmont and get no response. Yeah. So I just says, well, I don't know if they're out of business or what. But yeah, and my concern was that I know that Notary Stars is active, but yeah. they indicate the training for under one, two, three notary. So I don't know what kind of impact that has on them. Yeah, he, he may be changing that as as well. I did not renew my one, two, three mm, okay. this year because of this reason. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do then. But some of the others are good, you know, I like I got a call this morning from Notary Rotary. So, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're good. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Appreciate your help and no, happy new year. Thank you, Gloria, for bringing that up. Um, I've, I've heard little bits and pieces of that. So I'm glad. Thank you, Laura, for kind of clarifying that. So now I have an answer when someone asks me uh, about Notary123. Uh, and before we get to Chris, uh, Laura, we have an announcement about an upcoming event in January. Yeah, Level Up. Uh, That's right. Coming January 13th. Um, I am one of the speakers. Bill Sorok is a speaker. There are several other speakers and then many panelists besides. And I'm not quite sure if it's just a half a day or three quarter day. It's not as long as it used to be. Um, and it's very reasonably priced. It is a Zoom event, live Zoom event. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, sign, uh, gosh, Matt, do you know her? Lori Morgan I'm is the it. person. Yeah, I'm pulling the event registration Thank right you. now. Okay. Then we'll get the information that. about uh, how to register for that. And it is all over social media as well. Yeah, it's Saturday, January 13th. It's an all-day class. And guys, tickets are only $35. Yeah. Now, if you are a notary business builder, um, we I will be hosting on the 10th a call about upcoming conferences, meetups, notary events over the entire year of 2024 so that you know what to save your money for, what a good event is, and what meets your current business needs. I'm working with um, different notary influencers all over the country, not just NBB related, um, but the NBB crowd will be uh, privy to that on the 10th of January. So you guys can start your year off knowing a planning for which events you want 13th. to attend. Yeah, it's the end. Level Up is on January 13th. So I am looking forward to being a panelist on that as well. And do you want to do any other announcements while we're at this point? Let's give it a few questions and okay. we'll wait till about quarter till. Hello, Chris, what is your question for us today? Chris, are you there? We cannot hear you. Well, let's come back to Chris. We'll go to Phil and then come back and see if Chris can come back to us. Hey, Phil. Happy New Year, everybody. Great to see you. It seems like it's been forever. Yeah, it's been a long time. time. <laughs> but uh, looking forward to 2024. I'm just about to put in the chat, as most of you are aware, five minutes after the end of Tuesday Notary Titans, I do a short Zoom where we help you uh, understand how you can better protect and grow your business. Also develop an additional source of income if that's what you're looking for. 
just text me for the link and please join us again five minutes after the end of TNT. It was a great 2023. Looking forward to incredible things in 24. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank you, Phil. Phil. Take a look at that uh, in the chat if you would like to join uh, Phil five minutes after this call and learn more about the um, Legal Shield opportunity. And Phil, I hope you were on when I announced, I'm going to do one quick announcement, Laura, um, that beginning next Tuesday, our call starts at 1215 Pacific and runs to 115. We're just adding a, a little 15 minute bumper on there starting uh, next week. So I just want to make sure you knew. <laughs> Great. Chris, are you there? I am. Can you hear me now? I can. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Okay, good. Um, I do have a question. I am new to notary. I have taken the signing agent. Um, and I hopefully will complete the CTDA, the, the trust today. Awesome. With, that, with that being said, I'm also an active real estate agent. Okay. So um, I understand all the marketing and everything, although, you know, I need some help with that. But I have the LinkedIn and all of that. But some notaries have told me not to combine the real estate with the notary as, as far as marketing so how do i do that do i do two linkedin to i you know i i don't know what to do with that so um the notaries that you're speaking, sorry, I was, just, I just got like a little distracted there. Somebody who shared yeah. their screen, I want to get that off. But so uh, to answer your question, Chris, yes, there are several title companies that do not want you to be a loan signing agent in their title office. If you are also a licensed realtor, because they see it as a conflict of interest. And that is something that you will have to determine where, where do you live, Chris? Um, I live in uh, South Orange County. Okay. So that's something that you're going to have to determine based on the title companies in your specific area. Each of them are different. Um, I know the big guys like Old Republic, um, uh, hang on, Old Republic, um, really? First American, all of those, they do not want you to be a realtor in that space. I'm assuming because they don't want any poaching going on. Um, and there's nothing you can do about that. That's so I have I have two business cards and on my notary business card I was going to put like a real estate agent and that's when I was told no don't do that don't advertise it okay. could I still go to those title companies and just if I don't use them in my real estate world so I think that you have to if you're going to go out in direct market I mm -hmm. think you need to be transparent about all of your professional um, endeavors. And part of that is letting them know that you are in fact a licensed realtor. You don't want them to find out after the fact because then they'll start talking. There could be a reputation issue with, oh, they yeah. feel like you lied to them, you know, that kind of thing. So okay. it's gonna be a, you know, personally, I would not put it on my business card um, I would just keep my notary things on one business card and my real estate things on another business card. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't let them know that you are also a licensed real estate agent. Okay. Keep in mind, some title companies, Chris, will be thrilled to work. The smaller ones, the more regional ones will be thrilled to work with you as an agent because they're going to they're they're going to think like, oh, she could potentially bring us business, too. And so, you mm -hmm. you know, you can talk to them about that angle. There's always a way to turn it into a positive. Laura, do you have anything to add? No, I think you did it thoroughly. What about like on LinkedIn? Should I put it on my LinkedIn page, both of them or? Yeah, to be transparent, I believe that yes, you should. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. Great question. Thank you, Chris. All right, Lynette, how are you today? I am in California great. today. Hi, hello, everybody. It's how so are you? To be back up and running. Um, I have two questions. Um, I'm just getting everything started up. So my my website should be up today. I've okay. got the book and I'm taking the courses on LinkedIn because this is way outside of my wheelhouse. So I'm very grateful for all of that information. So the next step after that, should that be the Google business profile? And is there a class in NBB for that? There is. There is a class in NBB for Google Business Profile. I will preface that by saying 
Jim Allen, who leads our class um, inside Notary Business Builder, um, is recovering from a quadruple bypass. Um, mm -hmm. Beginning of December, Laura? Is yeah, that right? and then November, somewhere in November, around. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, so I he, remember hearing that. he does five week intensives um, and every, uh, every once a week, he has a, a class about Google business profile, walks you through it, but we do not house those as one of the very few calls that we don't keep because the algorithm at Google changes so frequently that it would be irresponsible for us to keep up old classes. So as soon as Jim Allen is back Everybody in Notary Business Builder is going to know. Um, I know he's itching to to get back into things too, but of course his health is the most important thing. Um, I would refer you, Lynette, to um, YouTube. Okay. Um, to get started on that. And um, does Jim have good YouTube videos up, Laura? Do you know? I'm not aware that he does uh, have that. Um, the other thing, I mean, you can reach out to him. He's not, I think he's, He's now starting to take calls. Okay. Uh, and he's I've uh, got a little for, time. Uh, Idaho Mobile Notary, which mm -hmm. is Jim. What is it? Idaho Mobile Notary. It's very nice. And that's Jim Allen. And he might be able to give you some leads on what to do until he leads some more courses. Perfect. Thank you so much. The mm -hmm. other question I had is um, I have none of my profiles up at all. I am a member of um, the National Notary Association. Mm -hmm. So what would you recommend um, the ones that I should have? Just I like to have my, my steps in order so I know what I'm looking at. So once I finish something. So um, National Notary Association, any other ones? Well, the, the NNA has two. One comes with a signing certification or membership. And if you have that, just go in. They start it and you have to go in and fill out the rest of it. Okay. The other one is a paid one called Find a Notary. And that's really geared towards everything that's not loan signings. Um, oh, and uh, in order to have that one, you either have to have a background check by itself or you need to be a signing agent that has a background check in order to okay. get into that particular one. So those are those okay. two profiles. Your okay. LinkedIn profile of all of the profiles, I think in social media is the most important one to have uh, updated. And if you don't know how to update that, there's, uh, are you an MBB, Lynette? Yes, yes. Okay, then there's the LinkedIn uh, by Sandra Long to help walk you through that. Yes, uh, so that very, good, very good information on those. Beautiful. And then there's Gotary.com um, for MBB members. Did you go in and fill out that? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Now there's two more and that's more in the loan signing world. And those are paid profiles okay. uh, or directories, which is Notary Rotary and Cafe, NotaryCafe.com. Okay. Perfect. Notary Cafe. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate all the information. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your day, Lynette. Thank you for the question. And Cindy in Northern California, how are you? I'm mute. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. Happy New Year. I, I just wanted to comment real quick on Chris. I'm also a realtor 22 years and a notary going on five. And yes, title companies will not allow you to go direct, but you can do signings you know, through some of the signing companies and keep your stuff separate, cards, your website, all that stuff. Um, okay, so my question is, I got certified as the um, a trust agent mm -hmm. and unfortunately, um, lazy me, I haven't done anything with it. I think it's been probably four months. Mm -hmm. um, and my friend does, uh, oh, what do they call it? She does serves, process server. Uh -huh. So she she gave me a bunch of names of attorneys she works with. A lot of them are, are trust attorneys. But my question is, when I go in to introduce myself, do we, we have scripts or something? Probably do. Um, to kind of introduce myself. And should I bring something like a pen, something of value? What are your thoughts on that? Great question, Cindy. And uh, because you have lifetime access 
to the uh, training modules inside the, the trust delivery agent training, I would absolutely encourage you to go back in and watch those marketing modules where we talk okay. about what to say, um, the simplicity of just introducing yourself. You, of course, can bring something in um, that is entirely up to you, but it's not necessary. Um, okay. Honestly, the, the whole reason for a pop-in for me personally was to have something to do with my hands because I felt weird just standing there. And yeah. as a Southern girl, you know, I was always told if you come into somebody's space, you know, you bring a, a gift, right? It's like a hostess yeah. gift kind of thing. So that's the whole reason pop-ins are there. But if you have the confidence to walk in and just start talking, then do that. Bring a business card, but make sure you get theirs so you can follow up because that is the secret. No one tells you. Yes. We tell you in the five point marketing system, but mm -hmm. Following up is the hardest part. The hardest part is not popping in to introduce yourself and your business. The hardest yeah. part, part is following up and beginning to forge a relationship with the people who are interested in doing business with you. Yeah, and, and that's what my friend Mary said too. It's not the attorneys that will pick you. It's the paralegals or the, or yeah. the gallop or, you know, man at the front desk. Yeah, yeah. So um, find out where they <clears throat> are and go back and look at the marketing modules, including mutual prospecting and the referral source interview so that you can refresh yourself. I encourage anybody on the call that's a CNT, a certified notary trust delivery agent, especially if, if you're thinking about going out and doing some direct marketing and it's been a minute since you've watched those videos, go back, yeah. take a look at them. You have lifetime access and that's exactly why we wanted you to have lifetime access so that you could uh, refresh on those skills because it is a different skill set that we just doesn't come naturally to us. So take a look at those. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So welcome. Joanne, do you have another question for us? I do, Jen. Um, how would you handle or approach um, an estate planning attorney? She's hosting, she calls it wines, wills, and women. Um, so, you know, she's introducing or informing people about estate planning okay. and she is hosting this with a CP, no, financial advisor who I've done work with and who I've met in a, uh, at a chamber. So I just want to know how to just, you know, approach that and not, you know, be salesy. Does she host these weekly, monthly? What's her schedule? This particular one, it's monthly. Um mm -hmm. But this one she's holding this month happens to be with the um, person who, again, I've done work with. She's a financial advisor. So they're certainly, pairing. Certainly go. <laughs> certainly you want to attend that event that, since you have a, a connection there. Mm -hmm. And then I would absolutely offer to um, host an event, co-host an event with her. Whether it's you're contributing to the cost of the wine, you're bringing in maybe just a snack board, a charcuterie board, um, or you're passing out pens and notepads or something branded. Um, I, I think the best way that you could develop a relationship with that particular estate planning attorney is to offer to help host these events with her and then you know developing that relationship so she sees the seriousness of your um, of your dedication to your to your business. Laura, do you have anything to add to that? Well, no, not just that, that was where I was going to, and also, you know, to help bring, bring a guest, bring somebody to her event, uh, because that also would show your interest and your seriousness of Absolutely. how her be successful. Absolutely. If she's giving away raffle prizes, volunteer to bring a raffle prize. Yeah. If she's, um, you know, just looking for a monetary donation and, and whatever you're able to give, don't feel like it has to be. I mean, people ask me for monetary donations, not kidding you, every single day. And the ones that I support here locally, um, it's a it's a $50 donation. I'm not sending them thousands of dollars. I think it sounds a little overwhelming when you say something like, yeah. And a monetary donation, you know, just any little bit is going to help Joanne and she's going to appreciate it. And through that, she's going to see, like I said, your commitment to your business and, you know, and you can have those conversations with her um, about how you can help her business. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
You're so welcome. Let's do a quick announcement before we hopefully get to some other questions. Um, please just raise your hand if you have any, any kind of questions for Laura and myself. Um, so we've talked about our event for January, which is Level Up via Zoom. Hopefully you guys are able to attend that. I will get that reposted in the chat for you in just a moment. Um, Laura, what, oh, we also want to just reannounce for those of you that maybe have joined late that moving forward, beginning next Tuesday, what's that date? The 9th, Tuesday, the 9th, TNT will start at quarter past the hour. So 1215 Pacific, 215 Central, 315 Eastern. Laura, do you have any other announcements? Uh, well, do we want to do a couple of other events? Um, coming up, you've got the Pacific Northwest meet Yay! and call coming up in March, uh, March uh, 16th, I believe. I and have got uh, Nicola Jackson coming from the NNA to come and kick us off. Uh, you've got quite a few people that you know that will be speaking there and people are coming, not just from uh, Washington, but from all over. So you've got Jen coming from Texas and I'm coming from California. Bill will be there. Matt's coming up from California. Judy Lawrence is coming from Philadelphia. So we've got people traveling all over the place. So this is turning in to be quite uh, an expansion of just a, a regular meetup. Uh, so I think that's gonna be worthwhile to, to uh, attend. And that's at the Mayflower in Seattle, Washington. And then that was March. April, May is uh, two events happening. The annual conference of the year, which is the National Notary Conference is in Orlando, Florida. Um, there are, I wanna say 21 different courses that are gonna be offered. Bill, Jen and I will be teaching together and separately, and there will be many others. And if you go um, to, how's that website set up? nationalnotary.org forward slash NBB 2024. You should be able to get in and see the agenda and see all the topics that are going to be presented and who's presenting them. Uh, and they are still in what would they call the standard pricing. Uh, and I believe that goes till the end of February and then it's gonna have a price jump. So that might be something if you're, if you're considering it because it takes planning, you gotta fly if you're not right there, hotel, and they do have a group rate out. And once they run out of the number of rooms that are in the block, then you pay the full price. So uh, something that you want to consider. And right when that's over, a few days later, uh, is Dashika Hills event, the, the uh, consortium. Uh, and that's happening the following weekend, I believe. And Jen, um, yes. I don't have a lot of information on that, but Jen is going and Bill is going. I am. We are both going. We are leaving from um, Orlando and flying up to Michigan to hang out with all the Michiganders um, immediately after the NNA uh, conference. So I did post a link to the NNA um, conference if you are interested in getting those tickets. Like Laura said, once those blocks of rooms are gone, you're paying full price and this hotel ain't cheap. So if it's something you're interested in, please take a good look at that. I have another um, post of the um, virtual summit on the 13th. And Matt, are you available to help me find the PNW meetup and link and get that in there? I do not have it at my ready. I would really appreciate that. So we could get to Andy's yeah. question. He's going to get right on that. You guys, thank you so much, Matt. Andy, oh. what is your question for us? Oh, I'm today? sorry, Jen. Oh, sorry. Let me just finish this before we go back. Oh, sorry. To yeah, I just want to go back to um, January. Um, we have an informal announcement that Thursday, what date is that uh, at the end, the last Thursday of January, we're going to have a meetup in Monterey. Mm. We don't have the location identified yet, uh, but Bill will be putting out a landing page as soon as we have that. Uh, Jen, Bill, and I will be in the Monterey uh, area. I cannot that, wait. That cannot so it's a wait. chance to meet people that are out in that area. Okay, Absolutely. now we can go back. Thank you, Laura. I forgot. I totally forgot about that because we haven't gotten that land landing page up. Monterey is in California. 
Joyce. Um, yeah. And also don't forget guys, if you're interested in Legal Shield, um, Phil has put his uh, text in there so you can join with him immediately after this call. Thank you for your patience. Date, oh, the date for Monterey, I, I don't have a calendar in front of me, but it's I, that last Thursday, I believe. It'll be January 25th. In January the 25th. Somewhere in Pacific Grove, I believe you said. Yeah, and well, somewhere, Pacific Grove, Monterey. I'm looking for a good place that can accommodate. Yeah, but we are, we're are we hoping to host just a small meetup for notaries in the area mm -hmm. and hang out and have some fun together, yeah. get to know each other. Okay. Andy, hi, thank hi. you for your patience. What oh. do you have for us today? Well, I um, maybe did a little language help. And I'm hoping you could help me. So how do you convert a friend in the professional world to a client? It's a, it's a delicate subject to broach, I think. And so I just don't want to alienate anybody and maybe need a little language to do that. So you said you said convert a friend in the professional world to a client. So this is not mm -hmm. like your neighbor or best no. friend. This is a okay, so this is a professional acquaintance. Okay. I just yeah. Wanted to make sure. And what exactly are you trying to, like general notary work? Uh, um, trusts and wills. Mm -hmm. And um, also uh, loan signings. So awesome. I have friends in those arenas. It's just, I just always thought it was kind of tacky to give them my business card and say, hey, use me. It is absolutely not tacky. <laughs> it is not tacky. It's That's not? how business gets done. Um, we feel that way because we've been told and conditioned, don't interrupt anybody. Don't be yeah. too pushy. Nobody likes a salesperson. And so we feel as adults, like we are intruding, right? You kind of feel like yeah. you're intruding on your friends or your, you know, your yeah. professional friends. And so we avoid it at all costs because, oh my God, what if somebody laughed or what if somebody said, this is dumb let me ask you something. Do you have any friends that own a business? Yeah. And how have they approached you about it? I don't think they have. They haven't? Nobody's no. told you they have a business? Well, they you can get out there and teach some people some things, Andy. Have a seat, girl. Let's talk about this. Okay. <laughs> so no, I just, I mean, they're buddies and I just don't, mm -hmm. we get to talking about other things. I think the two things that you can use to your advantage, and Laura, you correct me if I'm wrong here, just to open the door are your certifications for being a loan signing agent, for being a certified notary trust delivery agent. Laura, wouldn't you agree? Well, yeah. Do they even know you are? Yeah. I mean, I don't think I, so. But that's, this is that's, why I'm here and asking the question. <laughs> Thank you. That's an email right there, Andy, that says, hey, guys, guess what? You know, I know we've worked together in a past life. I know, you know, we were in this world together and I'm just excited to share with you that I've achieved this new certification, especially with the CNTDA certification, because that's blockchain yeah. verifiable. It's not a piece of paper. It's very impressive to a hiring party. So being able to, you know, send them the link to that, check out my certification. Here's what I've learned. Here's how I can help you in your business. I'd love the opportunity since we're already connected to help you grow your business. Mm -hmm. It's Thank a you. simple, yeah. it's a simple thing. And, and the best advice I can give you, Andy, is to get out of your own way. Yeah. The best gift we can, especially if they're your friends, the best gift, the best thing we can do for our friends is support their business. And they feel the same yeah. way. Laura, I, I feel like I can speak for you. And both of us as business owners, if we have friends that start a new business, we're going to help them somehow. We're going to use their service, right? We're going to um, refer people to them and they want to do the same things for you, but they got to know what you're doing. You got to tell That's them. a very, very good point. Thank you. I, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I have to get out of my own way and out of my own head about it. Mm -hmm. It's Thanks. really just that conditioning that we've been told um, mm -hmm. you don't want to be, and it's, I think it's, I've noticed this is not a scientific fact. This is just my observation um, in talking to notaries across the country for the last five years, but it is, it is 
harder on women to step out of that than it is men because we feel like we're interrupting and disturbing people. Um, but you're not, okay. you're not, you, you would not be offended. No, if, you know what? I wouldn't. That's a good point. Yeah. If Laura called you up and said, Hey Andy, I'm just calling all the notaries that have ever been on TNT to tell them about my new coaching program. You'd be like, Oh, cool. Thanks for letting me know. You know, <laughs> like I hadn't heard about it yet. Good point. Very, very good point. Thank you. You are so <laughs> welcome. I'm glad that that is helpful. Laura, do you have any anything to add? Uh, I just want to emphasize the the other side of it that we uh, mentioned, and that is um, if you're saying that they don't really talk to you about their business, I'd be getting curious about, you know, I don't really know what you do. Yeah. Why don't you tell me a little about that? Gosh, is there a way for me to support you in that? I would get very curious and interested in what they're doing because the law of reciprocation is people feel um, when somebody's done something for them, they always are looking for opportunities to return the favor, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome question. I love that. And it's one of my favorite things to talk about is how are, um, how we get in our own way. A lot of the time we, you know, we're our own worst enemy some days, right? Yeah. We have time, I think for just another question or two, if anybody has one in the meantime, I just want to tell everybody oh. if you are not already a certified notary trust delivery agent, there is the link, get yourself signed up. It's an excellent, excellent revenue stream for your notary business and is in my opinion, <laughs> absolutely going to change the landscape of the, um, of the notary world of the notary interest, uh, industry. Right, Laura. To, to add Jen that we missed two announcements. Oh. Um, one of them is that the, um, CLIN round table is coming up this Thursday. And if Matt would put it in the chat, uh, for us, um, that might be something people would be interested in participating. Of course, uh, California League of Independent Notaries is not just for California, um, but what it is about is the uh, political landscape related to our business and our ability to shape that um, rather than waiting to find out you know, what's gonna happen next, that we get on the front end of that. And actually, Matt, if you can unmute for a moment, don't you have something special this particular round, uh, round table? Thanks, Laura. Uh, yes, this Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific, it's a Zoom event for you to attend. I put the registration link in the chat, but this week we're talking about a brand new member benefit we are offering. It is a list of over 1,150 estate planning contacts. So this will be a leg up in helping you build out your trust delivery business uh, by giving you names, contact information for lawyers, paralegals, estate planning firms, uh, and everything in between in the estate planning arena. So mark your calendar for that. We're gonna dive into this list, show you how to use it and how to approach these clients and possibly even have a, um, template email letter to get you started. Uh, so take a look in the chat for that link and hope to see you there. Yeah. If you guys have your certification to be a trust delivery agent, you need to be on that call. This list is a big deal. It's a very big deal. So Matt, thank you so much for hosting that and um, reminding everybody about that call. Uh, right. So yeah, if, you, if you're CNTDA, you need to be on that call with Matt on Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Right. All right. And then there was another one and I saw it scroll through in the in the chat. This is what reminded me. And and that is a Notary Masters is the first and third um, Thursday every month. And if you're interested, you don't have to be a member to attend and see what it's all about. Go to notarymasters.org. And here's why I think it might be important for you to consider it. Um, we talk about going in pop-ins and having to talk to people. We have an elevator pitch. We have to develop and be able to speak out uh, impromptu, right? We have lots of situations where we will be speaking informally or formally, whether it's for two minutes or for 20 minutes. And what better place 
than to be with other notaries who might be in those same situations and improving your skill set around that. I happen to be a member, um, and I will tell you that it can and will um, help you if that's an area that you want to have improvement. Uh, so consider that this is the first, is this the, this is the first Thursday of the month, right? So it's this Thursday, Tabitha, this Thursday, um, sign up sign for that. Up for and think about, think about what it can do for you. Where are you in a scale of one to 10 in comfortable and being comfortable uh, in speaking in front of people, whether it's on Zoom or it's live in person, or as you're networking with people at conferences and other events, uh, it makes a big difference. And how you communicate also will make the difference on getting the job. So there you go. Those were the last two I wanted to add in there. I am so glad you did. I cannot think of a better program than Toastmasters to help build your confidence when it comes to speaking in front of a group and even showing up and asking questions on this call, you know, unmiking, turning your camera on all those things. Every time you do that, it just helps uh, build your self-confidence a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, but Toastmasters is, I'm a, I'm a member as well. Can everybody drop a one in the chat on this call? If they're a Toastmaster uh, member, so you can see, uh, that there are lots of notaries out there participating in this. And I highly encourage you to do the same. It's a great way to build your confidence and become better at speaking in front of a crowd. So do we have any last minute questions before we hang up today? If not, I have some different kinds of announcements. Ooh, uh, let's hear them, Laura. I don't see any hands up. You know, one of the things that, you know, TNT has become as a community is a, a centralized place to find different resources um, for our business. And as we just discussed, Notary Masters, you know, is one of them and the round table for Clint is another one. Um, and of course, you guys know about NBB, Notary Business Builders, and then we have a huge number of resources within that. But, but if you're not ready for that a little more advanced movement of NBB, both Jen and I have other resources we can offer you. I'll go first and I'll let Jen. One is I have a free Saturday morning call. The Inner Circle is a smaller group and we have a similar format. I start out with something inspirational, motivational, and then we move on into com deeper conversations about the same kinds of topics brought here. Second of all, I have a video replay library called Laura Bewer Presents. Now, if you're in MBB, it's part of that. But if you're not, you can get that separately. And it is about each specialty out there that I investigated and successfully implemented. And that might be something that if you're looking at other opportunities outside of loan signings to backfill some of the gaps you know, people are experiencing, that might be a place for you to uh, get that kind of information. And that is not a subscription. That is a lifetime. You buy it once, it's yours. Okay. Jen, what resources do you have? Well, I, I just want to uh, talk about your um, real world training for a minute because I hear on a consistent basis how much your medical um, training um, to working at different facilities has helped. I mean, it's got to be in the hundreds of notaries by now that, oh. I've talked, that I've talked to. I can't imagine thousands that you've helped with that program, but just that I have talked to, I have consistently hear amazing things um, about your program, Laura. But if you are looking to get into the medical space, um, I would definitely take a look at uh, that offering from Laura. For me, I posted my link a little bit earlier. You guys, if you are not a notary business builder and you are looking for some marketing help, I listen, I I don't teach you how to be a notary. I don't teach you the difference between an acknowledgement and a jurat. I stay in my lane, which is marketing. And I'm going to show you the exact system that I used um, over uh, over the course of my years being a full-time notary since 2017 to develop relationships with all different kinds of businesses in the Dallas and Fort Worth area, which is where I live. So if you guys are interested in checking out marketingfornotaries.com, it's, I would love for you to join. If you're already a notary business builder, you've already got this included. 
We yeah. deep dive into each of these steps. We tell you what to say, how to say it, what to bring, what not to bring, what to wear, um, and how to plot out and plan out your marketing um, over the next year to 18 months. So it will definitely help you like what Lou was talking about earlier, feeling like, you know, I'm not getting any business. Why not? Well, that's because business doesn't come to knock on your door until you've been out there letting them know that you have a business, right? And that takes effort on your part and takes work on your part. And the five point marketing system at Marketing for Notaries will help you do that. Laura, do you have any last minute comments before we wrap up today? I believe that is it for this week. Well, awesome. You yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Laura, do you want to close us out? Absolutely. Thank you, first of all, for everybody who showed up today. It was a long two weeks. I was missing it uh, last Tuesday for sure. Uh, and Happy New Year to everyone. And we look forward to finding out on this uh, 2024 what you're going to be doing. What kinds of steps will you be taking this year? And we can be a part of that and support you in that. Uh, so just know there's more to come in 24. And we're glad you were here today. See you next week, 1215 Pacific time. Quarter past the hour next week, guys. Don't forget. See you then. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.